name David Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. So I finally got the fucking driving clip out last night. It was pure hell. I had the clip exporting while I did this podcast last night. And after I'd done the podcast, I went downstairs to check it out and it had fully downloaded. Then I went to play it. And for some inexplicable fucking reason, it was only playing 22 seconds. When you opened it, it said 10 minutes and 35 seconds or whatever the fuck it was. You press play and it only played 22 seconds. And I'm like, what the fuck could possibly have gone wrong? So I turned my computer off, turned it back on, hoping it was some sort of glitch. And I kept playing that 22 seconds. I played it maybe 10 times in a row just hoping that it would continue longer than 22 seconds, and it didn't. So I had to start the fucking export again for another three hours. And I stayed up for it as well, watching it. I watched my computer every 15 minutes for like three hours. Because I'm like, if you don't fucking export this time, you're going out the fucking window. And I didn't want to fuck around with it today. I wanted to be done with it, so I just stayed up, did it, released it. And now it's out there. And there has been just enough positive feedback and encouragement to keep doing them. Except I got one thumbs down on the YouTube channel. I don't know who the fuck that was. Probably some Indian who's lost his whole family in the last two weeks. And doesn't like that I'm driving around with no mask. Flaunting the law of the lands. But yeah, a lot of you, surprisingly to me, have enjoyed it. I was unsure whether it was even watchable. But the feedback's been good. One guy actually messaged me and said... I didn't hate your vlog thing. Congratulations. And I was like, yeah, well, that's pretty encouraging because it could have been something very hateable. So I'll continue putting my life and my family's life at risk for a couple of hundred views on YouTube. Maybe once a week I'll do it. I'll try and get out there once a week. And I want you to know, besides like the 10, 15, 20 minutes I'm driving, the rest of the process is fucking hell. I haven't felt this much anxiety and rage and pure anger than I have over the last two days in quite some time. I can't remember how long, but I'll keep doing them. I don't know how I'm going to keep them funny and interesting, but I'll fucking try. And if you haven't watched the first one, go to my YouTube channel, Boil Comedy. Subscribe to the fucking channel too. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Actually, if you're going to comment as well, give us some ideas of what I should do. I'm probably going to ignore all your suggestions, but there might be something good in there. And it apparently helps out with the algorithm. And I don't even think that's true. I've been watching a lot of YouTube tutorials and every son of a bitch says subscribe, comment, helps with the algorithm. Shut up. It doesn't help with the algorithm. You just don't want to look like a fucking loser. It's like this comedian friend I know from back in Melbourne. He put this thing up on Facebook yesterday saying... He's going to stop making his videos and stop doing his podcast because he's basically been shadow banned on all social media. And I'm like, no, you haven't been shadow banned. (laughs) Being shadow banned and completely ignored by everyone are two very different things. That's like me when I go to use Twitter once every eight months and throw out a fucking tweet and it gets one like. I'm like, the fucking shadow ban's still on. The fucking feds are all over it. They're trying to suppress my voice. They don't think the world is ready for what I have to say. My words could start a revolution in here. So this comedian as well. (laughs) He originally started making videos and podcasting because he hated everyone in comedy and he wasn't doing any good gigs and he basically despised the whole thing. So he's like, I'm going online and now he's been shadow banned And now he's going back to live performance. He's like, I tell you what, there is just something more magic about live performance. I'm going to throw my hat back in the ring and I'm going to write a new Melbourne International Comedy Festival show. He's not going to develop it and hone it throughout the year. He's just going to write it in his bedroom and then present it to a crowd. It's fucking crazy. How the fuck did I get there? I can't remember. But the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make some Spotify playlists. I'm going to make a few boil playlists. One of the listeners asked me if I could make a psychedelic playlist. And I'm going to do that. But the songs aren't necessarily going to be psychedelic. It's going to be the songs I did psychedelics to. Some of them were kind of psychedelic. But the other ones are just the songs that hit the bone when the boil and his mate Jakey were doing double ups on the double ups. 
four tabs of acid on his balcony in Bathurst in fucking God knows when, 2007. And then just chain smoking till the sun rises, waiting for the pub to open so you can just drink the acid come down away. So I'll make the psychedelic playlist. I'll make the Boyle Might Be Gay playlist, which will be the songs that I like, the more feminine songs, because I'm completely in touch with that side. These will be the gayer type songs that I would come home to after a big night out and sing my pretty little heart out to and maybe even drop a tear. Like Natural Woman. You make me feel You make me feel like a natural woman. That sort of shit. So I'll start off with those two. I'll start off with the Boil on Psychedelics playlist and the Is Boil Gay playlist. Just a little bit of fun. (laughs) Just a little bit of fun for fucking everyone. Anyway, that will do for tonight. If you haven't checked out my driving vlog, head to YouTube, Boil Comedy, and there's five fucking videos there. Find the one that says Driving in India. Okay, that'll do, and I'll see you the fuck later.